By the end of this video, you'll turn your spaceship that has a boring floor from this to this. And guess what? It only takes about five to 10 minutes and it costs absolutely nothing for your GPU. So let's go. What is up, beautiful people? We are here now at chapter 15. Congratulations if you have made it all the way here. We are going to talk about decals. Perfect. Baras, <laughs> why don't you tell us what is a decal? Well, I would, but I'm feeling kind of sexy today. So maybe I'll do that later. How you doing? I'm doing good. Can I change my voice too? How you doing? Can I change my... Oh my God, why do I get this one? You what is a decal? I can squish you. What is a decal? Tell everybody, what is a decal? Okay, I think we're wasting people's time. <laughs> that was so that was good, good, though. That was so good. This is definitely worth the money. Um, okay, so let's talk about decals. So decals is probably one of the coolest things you'll find in 3D. They essentially are textures that you slap on top of your materials, right? 2D planes, textures that you slap on top of your materials. And they're literally as easy as slapping them on other materials. So you can... Slap a texture on top of a texture too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. that's that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. You remember how much time we spent creating this floor? Yes. That was a pretty long time. Yes. Right? So if I want to go ahead and add more imperfections to it, more dirt, maybe I want to add some cigarette butts. Maybe I want to add blood splatter. Do I want to go ahead and actually simulate blood if I'm only looking at it from this angle and technically it's going to look flat? No. I can go ahead and use decals. Decals are basically transparent 2D planes that you slap on for more detail. And there's actually some Epic Games videos. Maybe we'll put some of the links in the description. I don't think I've shown you this, but it's basically a toilet, literally a toilet. And they show you the before and after without decals. Oh, I saw the video. And with decals, they add blood, they add dirt, and it looks so different just with slapping textures. And it usually takes five, 10 minutes, and it's really cool, and it's not expensive for your GPU. Where do we get them from? So one of the best places to get your decals is Quixel. Quixel Bridge, absolutely. So one of the categories that you'll see when you hover over the home button on the left side is decals. So we're going to go to decals, and there's different ones. You can actually make your own decals, by the way. Jonathan Winbush, one of our good friends, actually has a tutorial on how you can create your own decals. We recommend you check it out. We'll put a link in the description below as well. And you can now see there's a graphic content. That's the blood splatter we were talking about. There's commercial, there's concrete. You can literally have that concrete look on top of, let's say you have a road and your road texture is repetitive. You want to break up that repetition. You can do what we did in the materials chapter, or you can just come and get some decals, slap it on, and you're good to go. Farah, we already know what we want to look for, right? Yes. The what does, line. What is the name? Do you know it's road Ye something? Road line something? Yellow road. So we've already yeah. downloaded ours. It's a yellow road, I believe. Yes. yes. Yellow and white. Yes. So we have these decals. We've already downloaded them. We're just going to go ahead and add them to our scene with the highest quality. So add, done, and add. You could have shift selected both, to be honest. So the look that we're trying to create here, I'm going to load up our references, is basically... The You know when you go to the airport and then you'll see where the planes are parked and you'll see the lines on the floor, which is guiding the planes where to park? That's precisely the look we're trying to create here. Okay. So I'm just trying to quickly load up our references. If you look closely, this is the one we created ourselves. Can you see those lines? Yes. So it starts from the front and it comes all the way back in the middle. And then we had some of the wide road lines for the TIE fighters. We got this reference from here, right? So um, was it this one? Yeah, you can see it on the floor. This is from an actual Google image. And you have similar ones here. So again, references are extremely important. By the time of uploading this, we actually have an episode with Imani yes. Larusa. Yes, she, episode 41 of our podcast. While I start, can you tell them about what she said about okay. pre-production? We talked about pre-production. We talked about how to steal like an artist. We talked about creativity, creatives block. It was an amazing episode. And what she was saying that... Most of the projects that are unfinished or most of the project that fails, it's because of the lack of pre-production. Lack of pre-production means scripting, 
outlining your layout, mood boarding, referencing. That's right. Go and watch that episode. I'm going to put a link in the description. So now, if you go to our Mega Scans folder, since we downloaded more more items, we now have an extra folder because it's now in a different category called decals. We're going to open it up. We have white and yellow. And all you have to do is actually drag and drop the material instance and it will work as the plane. And so let's begin with the fighter jet right here. I'm just going to pull this guy back just a tiny bit. Actually, make it a little bit smaller. It's one. I'm going to make it 0 0.8 maybe. It's a tad bit smaller. Less majestic, but that's okay. We need some space. And then drag and drop this guy on the floor right here. So as you can see, if I pull this up, and it's actually <laughs> affecting our spaceship as well, which we have to fix later on. But if you pull this, this bounding box is talking about basically the area that this decal covers. And then there's a giant blue arrow pointing downwards. This is basically the direction at which you want to go ahead and place the decal. So if you were to place it on a wall over there, you want to go ahead and rotate it like so, so that the blue arrow is pointing towards the wall. So I wanted to point towards the floor because I'm going to place it on the floor. I'm going to bring it down until it's visible. And now it's large. So far, we scale it down, scale it down on this axis specifically. There are some controls here that you can use to control this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. It's easier. So once you have your look done. I want to go ahead and turn on my snapping. I want this to be precise. You can then go ahead and just art direct precisely what you want to create. Honestly, there's no right or wrong here. It's just a matter of what you think will look good for your scene. Now, I want this to be perfect. So I'm going to go to my top angle view and then look exactly at where my spaceship is. First of all, just make sure this is in the right place. This is in the middle. It's correct according to this wireframe line of my spaceship. And then this decal icon is also sort of in the middle, which means I am doing this right. So I want to go ahead and make this larger and then bring this guy back a little bit. I don't want it to be touching the uh, the stormtroopers. I'm going to bring this guy back a little bit and then go here, here. Perfect. Fire, do you see this? Yes. And I want this to be a little bit larger because I want it to be basically going across my, uh, my spaceship. And that's perfect. So now I'm going to go back to perspective mode. This should look perfectly fine. Pull this back just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this guy bring it to the side, and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. And this is what, way too long, so I'm going to pull it back now. And I'm just going to create a custom shape, something that I like. So I'm just going to break it up a little bit. I don't want it to look uniform. So far, do you see how easy it is to use decals? 100%. And it really depends on your preferences and taste on how you want to design and decorate your spaceship. You can go ahead and follow exactly what Faraz is doing here, but you can get creative and try different colors, try different patterns. Go look at the references. There are tons of references out there on how to design a spaceship. Absolutely. And these uh, decals also have a different sign here, so you can easily tell them apart. I'm just going to go shift select all of this, create a new folder, move to create new folder, call it yellow decals, yellow decal just to make sure I know where they are. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all this on this side, all these decals here, and I'm going to duplicate them, bring them to the right side, just like that, and it's done. So this is what I'm going to use here. Faraz, I have a question. Yes. Can you bring the decal closer to the door? Um, I just want to... Yes, yes, absolutely. In, in the event that I want to have my decal under the door, I don't want it to go over the door. How can I fix that problem? So every single object that you bring to your scene actually has the capability to not receive decals. On default, they do. So if you want to make sure they turn that off, you go to your specific item. Here is the spaceship for us. And then you're going to, in the details panel, search for receive decal. So the option is right there. It's checked. If you turn this off, boom, it mm, goes away. So it's right underneath it now. Yes. Yeah, so what you want to actually go ahead and do, you want to go ahead and turn this off for usually your character. So in case which is going to happen, by the way. We have the stormtroopers walking in the middle. We don't want them to turn yellow because look at what happens when you bring them on top of the stormtroopers. <laughs> like, they actually turn yellow. So you don't want that, right? So you have to turn it off for the stormtroopers as well. 
Hold, Hold up. up! Did you know that you can use photogrammetry to create highly photorealistic scenes by taking what exists in the real world into 3D? We've been using Polycam to do exactly that using our phone and drone. That's right, and shout out to them for sponsoring this video, giving you guys 30% off their promo plan. The promo code is bad decisions. No, 30% off their plan, <laughs> no, not the promo plan. No, they don't have a promo plan. <laughs> 30% off their plan. Pro plan. Pro plan. Use the code bad decisions in the link in the description. Let's continue. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly bring in my white decal. It's the same thing, just a different color. And I'm gonna create a little box based on our previous design. I just think it's cool to have this. And I'm gonna rotate it. Very cool, like that. Bring it here, duplicate that, and then bring it here. This is probably the most fun thing you'll do in 3D because the easiest thing. That yeah, you're, you're do not. In 3D. You're not. There's nothing technical about this. It's literally just painting, like, like. But it makes a I huge think. difference. We can show you guys the before and after the spaceship with or without decal, and you will see the difference. Oh, absolutely! It makes a huge difference. I'm gonna put these guys into the white decal folder because I'm gonna be duplicating this as well. So now once I have these white decals, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this another time for the end right here. I already know the kind of vibe I'm going for. And, and maybe then, one for the middle. And then one for the middle, sure. One for the middle. And then we'll have two more parking spots here that I'm gonna create. And also I'm gonna do the same thing for the TIE fighters. But in order to not bore you guys, we're gonna fast forward the section and be right back once we have our decals placed down. So go ahead and do it for yourself as well. So Faraz, what if I want to create a giant environment in Unreal and I don't have much time? Well, there is the Quixel Megascans assets, which we've already talked about, which is great, right? But let's say you want to go ahead and create the worlds quickly, but your worlds need to be unique, like unique to you. Because at the end of the day, everybody has access to Quixel Megascans. And so you might end up having the same trees or same branches, your worlds could end up looking similar. Some people could be able to tell. But if you want your worlds to be absolutely unique, but still super photorealistic, and you want to be able to create them quickly, one way you can do it is through photogrammetry, right? Basically taking in assets from the real world into the 3D world. You can do that by just going around different objects in your environment, in your house. Use in your, your phone, use your drone. This is how we used to do it previously. Yes. We used our drone to scan objects. We used our phone to scan objects. And then we brought those photorealistic assets into our 3D software. And guess what? With Polycam, you can do that with your iOS, Android, and even on web. You guys definitely should give Polycam a try. We have a link for you in the description, which will give you a discount as well. So just a quick tip for you guys, when we laid down these TIE fighter decals, I just realized their sizes are a little too wide. So I went ahead to the decal size details under each decal and then unlocked it so I can just make them smaller on a single axis. And I'm just copying that same value. So you can go ahead and do the same thing as well. Guys, we are done. Just look at this spaceship and how much difference it made by just adding all these little decals all around our scene. Paris, yeah. are we done with this? I'm really happy with this. I mean, look at it. It only took us about 15 minutes, but our scene looks so freaking good with it. It just looks so much more detailed and the actual complexity was pretty close to zero. Check it out. This is the after 
and this is before. It just looks empty. Yes. And look at the decals. Boom. And there's so many other decals that you can go ahead and add. You can create your own and just lighten up your world. So just go ahead and try it. Again, at the end of every chapter, you're supposed to share with us your progress. So use the hashtag. Let us know what your scene looks like right now. I'm curious to see if they added these airport lines or maybe they added something cooler than ours. We are going to find out. So we are done with chapter 15. In the next chapter, we are going to talk about cameras, rig rail, cranes. It's going to be an exciting chapter. Ciao.